Well, 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 good day, good afternoon. I am just so excited about the election last night. Um, I couldn't even sleep this morning. I got up yesterday morning around 5 o'clock, 5.30, so that I can go vote by 6 o'clock. And I stayed up last night till about 2 o'clock because I was so excited about the results of the election. So, you know, I'm coming to you today because I am so proud, as I know many, many of us around the world and the United States are right now, just very proud about the fact that, you know, Barack Obama won the election last night. Um, the reason I am talking to you today is because I really want you to, to think about something. Something that I, that, that I thought about all night long, just, just from hearing his speech last night, he said, I want to thank my team. Without you, I couldn't have done this. And, and not, not those exact words, but pretty much that's what he said. And I want to say to you, can you imagine what your life would be like for your business if you put together a team, if you had this perfect strategy in place? And if you wasn't doing everything by yourself, I mean, I could not sleep thinking about that. And although I have a small team, am I utilizing my team properly? Do I have the right strategy in place? Do you have the right team in place? Do you have the right strategy? I mean, we can't do it. No man is an island. You have to have some help. And he won that presidency by having a team in place, by reaching out to the people, by listening to their problems, and giving them hope for a solution. That's what we have to do as business owners. We have to find out what it is that the people want. We have to give them the solution to their problem. We have to have a team in place. We have to have a strategy. We have to take action. Two years ago, we had no idea who Barack Obama was nor John McCain. But you gotta, you gotta understand this. They put together a team, both of them. And although he fought a good fight, John McCain, you know his strategy and his team wasn't as strong. Um, and that's why Barack was able to win. People, the people heard his message. They wanted to change. You know, I'm wearing my T-shirt. I'm proud. Dr. Martin Luther King on one side and Barack on the other side. You know. It's a change that they want, and it's a change that we want in our business. I want a change in my business. I want a change in my life, and I'm sure you want the same thing because that's why we all con congregate together on these social networking sites. We want to see change. We want our business to be strong. We want to be debt-free. We want multi-million dollar empires. We want to travel for our family and friends. We all want the same thing. We all have the same goals, pretty much. We want to be healthy, happy, and free. You know, we want that, those things. So that was the hope, and that was a change. So now I'm saying to you, can you take a lesson from John McCain and Barack Obama? They put together a team. They had a strategy in place. They had a goal in place. And now he is the President of the United States based on what he wanted. He was unknown two years ago. So unless you lived out in Chicago, most of, us, most of us didn't know who these people were unless we lived in Arizona and Chicago. But today we know that it was a, we have a President who came from Chicago, he's a black man, we had a person running against him who came from Arizona, you know, we didn't know these things, we didn't know that man had seven homes, we, none, we knew none of these things, but their team put that plan together, and now we know a lot more about them, now I'm going to say to you, what do you know about yourself, what does people know about you, do you know about other people in your industry, are you good at what you're doing, are you focused on what you're doing, are you clear about what you're doing, you know, are you solving problems, these are the things we got to do. We got to take a lesson from these guys. They fought a good fight and one of them came out a winner. And I'm saying to you, let's become winners for our own businesses. Let's fight the good fight for our own businesses. Let two years from now be your goal. Two years from now, let the people know who you are. Let them know what problems you're going to solve and watch your business just increase. I know that's my plan. I know that's what I'll be doing. I know I'm going to pull together a plan. I know I'm going to revisit my goals and my strategies. And I'm going to set my focus a little bit higher. So I suggest you do the same thing. Well, I'm going to take a breath and breathe for now. And I'm going to come back to you again probably tomorrow. Um, I'm just loving this whole video idea here. And this is a part of my strategy, just in case you didn't know it. This is a part of my strategy. And my goal is to build a multi-million dollar media empire. So now the world knows that's my goal. Now you know one of the strategies that I use. What is your goal? What strategies are you using? So good luck. Until next time, have a great day.